Welcome to the History Center's podcast series, Admiring the Archives, which features highlights from our diverse archival collections. Today's podcast features the photographs of Vern Morton. By the late 1890s, the art and science of photography had advanced considerably beyond the cumbersome and costly processes of the mid-1800s. Cameras and equipment were more portable and accessible to gifted amateurs, and photography became a popular outlet for people eager to record images of daily life. One such gifted amateur in Tompkins County was Groton's Vern Morton. Born in 1868, Morton, the son of a farmer, was a dedicated school teacher in various district schools in Groton, Lansing, Dryden, and Locke. His students remembered him as quiet, shy, and kindly. He was also a skilled amateur naturalist with an extensive library of field guides to the flora and fauna of the area. He collected various plant specimens, which he meticulously labeled and preserved on proper herbarium sheets. Morton's first photographs date to 1896, and for the next 49 years, until his death in 1945, he painstakingly documented rural life in upstate New York in more than 12,000 remarkable photographs. His subjects include the people and the activities of the world in which he lived, farmers stacking hay, children running in a schoolyard, beekeepers extracting honey from a comb, family groups posed outside of farmhouses. It's interesting to see the dramatic technological and social changes that Morton's images highlight as the 20th century progresses. Automobiles replace ox carts and tractors supplant horse-drawn plows. Telephone poles and wires appear in village street scenes, and a woman is pictured in a Bell telephone office in Groton. But nearly half the photographs he took were of the natural world, which he portrayed with great skill and artistry. Cornell naturalist Anna Botsford Comstock and horticulturist Liberty Hyde Bailey often used Morton's photographs of local plants and flowers to illustrate their publications and bulletins put out by Cornell's College of Agriculture. His images of animals in the wild remind us of the extraordinary patience that great nature photographers must have to capture the fleeting moments when they are in view. His collection can be viewed at the History Center's Research Library.